This video is going to be a quick tutorial on how to do some upgrades on your computer. The first thing you'll want to do after you take your computer and open it is make sure that you're not going to shock and break anything. So first you're going to want to take any socks off and then you're going to want to go ground yourself. You're going to be doing this a lot, so make sure you do it. And the first thing we're going to upgrade, and the easiest thing to upgrade, is the RAM. So we'll start by undoing the little tabs on the RAM. Like that. And we'll be taking them and putting them off to the side. Next, we'll want to take our new RAM stick and slot it in its hole the correct way. On the stick, you can see that there's a little dash. Hold on. Yeah, there's a little line there. And you're going to want to line it up with one of the slots in your computer. Your computer has two different colors. And you want to, if you have more than one stick, which you're putting in, you're going to want to keep them in the same color. But I only have one, so I'm just going to gently slide it in. Like that. And you're going to push until it clicks in. And then you're just going to want to shut the other one because we don't need that. Next, before I continue any further, I'm going to ground myself again. It's a very good idea to make a habit out of grounding yourself as much as possible. Now, the next thing we're going to do is the single most important thing you want to do if you want to get your computer better with a single upgrade which is change the graphics card to a better one. So I'm going to um, secure myself a screwdriver and be right back. Ground yourself again. Come back. And now we undo the screws that hold in our graphics card. There'll be one here. Just undo that. Set the screw off to the side. And this one as well. Oh geez. Next, we're going to take out the power cables. So just take that and wiggle it out, as well as this one too. Leave those off to the side for the moment. And gently lift your card up after you remember to push the little clip down there. This may take two hands. Let's see if I can place the camera down. There we go. You have to be rather careful as you don't want to break anything because even if you don't plan on using this card again, they are still rather expensive and good to have around as a spare. And I do believe I forgot one last screw. So we'll undo that. And just place it up there with the rest. This case is a little bit different. So now we can lift the card up, and place it off to the side with a RAM we don't need anymore. Ground yourself once again, because never can be too safe. Next we grab our new card, and put it in its new home. So, going to just, oh dear, going to just Slot that in. Oh. This card's a different one, so it needs its own little slot at the bottom. So we'll just undo one of these things. 
take that out. And now we can install it. Well then. We're gonna install it. Hold on. I was taught a very hard lesson, and that is always make sure your parts are compatible. Now with the help of Mr. Pliers here, we were able to bend back that pesky piece of metal, and finally be able to slot our new card in. However it's supposed to fit. Oh jeez. Well, nothing the pliers can't handle. Hold on. Once again, we're fixed, grounded, and modified. So now, it'll actually maybe go in where it's supposed to, if it so pleases. Hopefully, this is modded the right way now, and fits in because, hurrah, it does in fact slot into its little socket. So now that we have a card in, hold on, please focus. So now that we have a card in, we just go back to the our power cables and plug them, hmm, I guess we'll, we'll tuck them in there. And yeah, that is the simple way to upgrade your computer, just, now we just need to take the lid, pop it back in, and see what happens. So now that our computer is all back together, we can go and hit the power button and enjoy our fruits of the labor. And... Oh dear.